All right, if your zoom looks like this, that means you are doing it wrong. This is called a bounce zoom. And so you can see how we are zooming into the clip that's going here. You can see our, the subject gets bigger. And then in the second clip, we have our subject that is big and it's getting smaller. And that is the incorrect way to do that. We want the subject from get smaller to get bigger. And then we also want that on the second clip. So this needs to be smaller and needs to get bigger. In this clip, it does not do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we have our clip, this has nothing on it. And we add a transform node and we're gonna do, let's do our zoom in and then we'll do a zoom out. So zoom in, we go to the end composition, we keyframe our size, we go back five frames, then keyframe again, we can go forward and, we, and click that area. So we're at our end keyframe again, and then we're gonna change our value to like 2.5, let's say that, and then change our spline graph like we would. Click the transform, click the size, control A everything, hit S to smooth out the keyframes and then make a curve that goes something like this. And then there we have our first part, which is our zoom in. Then we go to the second clip inside the fusion page and then we start, go to our media in, let's click, a, let's get a transform on there. Let's keyframe at the beginning and then keyframe at the end. And this time at the end, we're gonna change the value to 1.2. So we can see that our values are increasing the whole time. So it starts from one and goes to 1.2. And now if we, change our spline like this control a s and then make our curve just like this we have a zooming in motion and this is our correct zoom just like that now if i play them side by side you can see the difference it's a bounce zoom and this is a normal zoom so these values from here they're going from 1 2.5 and this is from 1 to 1.2 here the value is going from 1 to 2 and this value is going from two to one. And we don't want that. We want all values to always go up or the values to always go down.